This begins our last adventure in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We are currently in St. Thomas, and we're gonna go to Round Bay, which is at the far end of St. John, and do some spearfishing and just snorkeling in between here and there. And that's really our last hurrah, because after that we gotta provision prep the boat and then quarantine a little bit to make sure we didn't get sick from provisioning, and then we're going back to the States. But that's a whole other video. Let's enjoy now and our last opportunity to play. So we're gonna go diving. We're here at Jeffrey Epson's Island. We didn't realize it was his island until after we anchored. Well, I guess it's not his anymore. Ryan's gonna try to spear a fish and I'm just gonna go along and keep him company. It's not much of a catch. It's like this little goat fish thing. I looked them up. They're supposedly edible as long as they're not too bad, uh, not too big. He's clearly not too big. There's not gonna be a ton of meat on him. Spent a lot of time chasing porgies. Honestly, they're clever and they're really, they spook really easily. And they change colors. I chased one and he changed colors and I was amazing. But I saw a shark, spotted ray, and an octopus, which I've been so stoked to see. And some turtles. My, my and turtles. That was my <laughs> second time seeing an octopus. Here. So, not a big yield, but it was a, it was a fun experience. I'm swimming in that water for like two and a half hours. Ooh, this knife is sharp. I took probably two dozen shots today, and only one of them connected. Wow. But I'm learning their patterns and stuff. I'm starting to figure out fish a little bit and like starting to develop a strategy and starting to learn where they are see if I can do this one without breaking the gut there I was tr what I was doing is I was tracking these guys because where these guys were swimming was where the porgies were and so like the porgies would sometimes swim with these guys so I was just swimming around with these guys and then it was getting late and I was like ah well what something I wonder how these guys taste yum let's eat that Ah, uh, ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> you should name him. You want to name your catch, Ryan? Something that like in the something that's indicative of like you were my uh, you were lowering the bar, <laughs> low standards. You were um, you were me lowering my standards. Your ex-girlfriend's name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is not the right kind of knife, but we don't have the right kind of knife. And this is only the second fish you've ever filleted, and the other one was about three days ago, so... So this is like where the bones are, and I can either cut through the bones, and then you have to pick out the bones, or I can try to cut around the bones. I don't really know. I think we should just chop the head off and just, like, put the head on a platter. Go, uh, Thai style, just tear the guts out and throw the whole thing on the, uh, barbie. On the barbie! I mean, it looks like shit, but it's... Not that terrible of a harvest. It's like when you're down there spearfishing, you know, trying to figure out where the... I was Today I was looking for porgies and they run right along the sand line of where the reef meets the sand. 
And it's, it's like gambling almost. You're like, oh, maybe if I go over here, maybe there's something. Oh, maybe if I go over here, maybe there's something. And like, there's always like this, oop, this like maybe payoff, but it feels like gambling a little bit. You're like, oh, just let me look over there. Oh, maybe there wasn't any there thing there, but now that I'm gone, maybe they come back. Let me go check back over where I was. Yeah. What did the worm say to the fish? Let's hook up. Can you say fish? Hmm, smells good. It's cooking. So we looked it up again, because it's important to know what kind of fish you're gonna eat here, because you gotta know the ciguatera risk. And this is a small one, um, so the loot risk is a lot lower. Uh, but I think it is a goat fish, but maybe a goat fish is the same thing as a mullet. We don't really know, we're looking it up, but I can't find anything about mullet in these waters, but there are yellow goat fish. And he was yellow when I killed him. And then he turned red. So, I made fish tacos. This is what's left over, and this is two pretty big tacos worth. So, it's it's a fair bit of meat out of it. Three or four tacos worth. And I'm gonna give it a try. I already nibbled at it a little bit when I was cooking, and it's pretty good. It doesn't taste fishy or anything. So... What did we realize that it was? The yellow... yellow... tail... Goat, goat fish. fish. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good fish taco. Nice. I don't normally eat fish tacos. It's just, we don't have a lot here. I really want an avocado. Some cheese, a little bit of ranch. Whoa, and, and, ranch and some chipotle. <laughs> and some chipotle sauce. But it's good. I dig it. Thanks for watching this video where I'm learning to spearfish. I'm tired. I'm going to eat and just shut up.